Hey guys, I'm just Jersh and welcome back to episode 49 of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Uh, my boy Banjo. Oh, you can't see him. My boy Banjo is joining us today. He's a little sleepy. Hopefully he brings us some good luck. Um, because I've decided that it's a Jacob and Esau kind of day. I've, I've held it off for as long as I can, man. We got it. We gotta start cranking off his post-it note. Mostly I was looking at his post-it note and realizing how barren it was. Oh, by the way, speaking of barren, bare bones, you may say, take a look at this. Off stream, off, um, I, I, I was eventually, I told myself I was gonna stream unlocking the forgotten again. I'm broken. So I was like, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna, look, there, you could probably go back to my Afterbirth Plus series and you can probably find the episode. In fact, I'll link it if I can find it where we unlocked the forgotten and where we completed his entire post-it note so look we have enough content here that's gonna take us a billion years to get through anyway i'm not gonna spend man hours recording um doing the forgotten finishing his post-it note twice now i will save um i will save alternate ending and tainted forgotten we'll, we will you know we'll do those in an episode at some point but I'm just gonna do go ahead and do the other stuff uh, where I can. Um, Jacob and Esau, what do we need to do for you? We need Mega Satan, we need Dark Room, we need Delirium, we need Hush. Mega Satan, Dark Room, Delirium, Hush. Well, I mean, I guess what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to make Angel deals work. Um, if they work, brilliant. Oh, I don't remember how to play this character at all. Oh. Oh, crud. Okay. Uh, it's not Q. Space bar. Oh, dude, a balls of steel for both is very nice, actually. Um, so, yeah, look. It's been a while since we've played as Jacob and Esau, but I'm assuming you still understand the gimmick. It's two characters instead of one, which means whenever you find an item, you have to split your items amongst the two of them, uh, which essentially means you have two half-powered characters the entire time. However... Uh, the nice thing is that both of them are out simultaneously, so you, in a way, kind of get double the DPS. It's not necessarily double the DPS. Who did I pick that up on? Okay, so I think we use, yes, we'll use Q, which I shouldn't have done right there, but in theory, we'll use Q to use the, the scooper, which I don't think is a very good item, but that's okay. Um, yeah, it leads to some complex dodging situations. You can get stuck on rocks very easily, so your goal is to keep these guys as close to each other as humanly possible when they start getting uh when they start getting all out of whack it's essentially a recipe for disaster okay we are not going to nl pot play this we are going to do this the good old-fashioned way i'm gonna think about it <laughs> i'm not gonna pot play it i swear i would like to get those bombs because the bomb gets us access to uh something that looked uh, nice to me a stone chest and it's two bombs, so if we can get one bomb and turn that into two bombs by just blowing up the pots, I will. We'll do the boss fight first. It is Ragman, which is usually horrendous, but we do have, again, double DPS, so that's nice. Uh, it is Sunday right now. I need... I should be working right now, to be honest with you. I've, I'm a little, little behind after this week's worth of work. Um, combination of uh, having a lot of stuff kind of just fall onto my plate at the same time and also just being really uh, uh just a horrible employee in general range thank you um mostly working from home i i really i've talked about it literally ad infinitum so i should probably just shut up about it wait there's a bomb there's a bomb in the boss fight excuse me i don't know where that came from but i'm pretty happy to have it um because it means we should be able to access all of these goodies. Gonna go ahead and get rid of those spiders. Okay, Spirit Heart will go on Esau. We'll pick up these bombs as well, and then we're good to go. Um, yeah, I just have a lot of trouble in general focusing while I'm at home. I'm really just not built to work from home, so I'm excited to get back into the office. Hopefully, it should be about a month or so. Sure, we'll just stack DPS on our main boy there. Don't really want Whippy Worm, so I'll, I'll pass on that. Um, especially with Maria's now home for summer. She's a teacher, so... Uh, <laughs> very, very easy to just get distracted. This this could be bad, by the way. This this could be a problem. 
get out good stuff good stuff not a problem vibrant bulb we'll go ahead and put that on our second guy because i don't think the scoop is that good anyway so we'll just keep it at a full charge at all time and keep the stats up from it all right this is a pretty good start so far let's not forget we're attempting to do angel deals which is good because honestly we could try all We don't need to do boss rush. We do need to do hush, which is kind of time sensitive. Hmm. Oh, I don't have a key. Okay, well, that makes the decision a lot easier. <laughs> the nice thing about doing alt path with Jacob and Esau is there's double item room, so you can pick up double... You can pick up an item for each character, um, which is a lot better. The, the floors are harder. The bosses are, are, in general, a little bit harder as well. Um, but just being able to... To try to stay ahead of the curve a little bit when it comes to those items is is kind of nice. Um, yeah, I got a little bit of work to catch up. I got some stuff that's due on Monday that uh, is not that didn't quite get done on Friday, so I need to be doing that. But I decided to do this instead because, in general, like I said, a piece of garbage. Um, in addition to that, I have been. I know uh, E3 is going on right now. I'll be honest with you, I'm as mu as big as a fan of games as I am, which I don't, like, I love video games, but I'm the same way about, like, I'm just the same way about a lot of stuff, movies, TV shows, music, whatever. Uh, I usually have, like, my core one to two things that I'm really into, and rather than, like, branching out and trying a bunch of stuff, I just, say I guess same with food, too, to some degree. Um range is not very exciting rather than like branching out <laughs> i mean this is just a sick joke i the the time i say we're gonna try to make angel deals work you give me this deal i think you have to, i think i have to take this like i think we say no mega satan no dark room maybe we go for hush delirium Maybe we go for Hush Delirium. Because this is too too good. Th like, this is significantly too good. I'm going to take them both. Uh, actually, I'm going to take them both. With... I'm going to take them both with Esau, I think. <sighs> Can't take them both with Esau. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Um, okay, well, then I'll split them. And we will continue. Um, yeah, like, I mean, those are too good, right? How, how can you say no to, to a deal like that? Those are astoundingly good deals uh, to take. There's a Tinted Rock in there. I didn't miss that. Um, yeah, I'm, like, very loyal. Like, right, I, I said it in the uh, last episode. I'm, I'm looking for a little variety in my life right now. Because right now, it's, it's basically Isaac and Genshin. Um, I do like a little variety, but even when I inject variety, it usually just takes place of one of the existing games. Like, I'm not the kind of guy that's going to try a tent. I wish we would have come here first. We could have played that uh, devil beggar a little bit more, or like at all. Um, usually it'll just take the place of an existing thing that I'm already addicted to, and it'll just kind of slide in. Uh, let's save our key and let's maybe do alt path for a little bit, just so we can get some extra stuff. I don't think, I don't think, this could be a little dicey, but I'd like to blow up some of these pots where we can. Um, I don't think we want to stick on the alt path unless we plan on trying to get the mother victory done, which honestly, this is a pretty strong run so far, so it could be a decent one. The only scary thing about going down and doing alt path is... Um, it's going to take some time. It's going to slow us down a little bit, and hopefully we can still make Hush Fight. I'll, I'll have to just remember to to keep it moving rather quickly. Um, yeah, and I mean, I'm mostly a PC player as well, so that part of that just, like, um, halts some of my ability to play a lot of different games, as I they have to be on PC. So any exclusives, um, other than, like, when I lived with my, my boy Dan, and he would let me borrow... Or play temporarily on his uh, PS4 to play like the new Spider-Man game. Magic Munch, it exists! <gasps> I haven't seen Magic Munch, I don't think, since we've played this. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think Esau actually wants it. Uh, 
I think Esau wants it. Magic Mush and Glitter Bombs. Okay. So this run is Belongers. It's very good. <laughs> it's like insanely good. Um, I would like to try to maximize the amount of things we can get done here. <sighs> do we try Mother? But if we do Mother... If we do Mother, we can't do Delirium or Hush. We're not going to unlock the alt character because... That's easy enough to do. Although my boy Joji said he really wants me to try to unlock the alt character. Because apparently it's funny. I'm assuming funny in, in the means of like, it's really difficult. <laughs> Which doesn't sound like a great time for me, but maybe someday we'll unlock him. Um, shoot, what do we want to get done? I was expecting a tough Jacob and Esau run. Instead, we live in a society that has graced me with uh, maybe one of the easiest Jacob and Esau runs I've... I've ever seen so far. This is this is wonderful. Um, I don't think we're gonna do mother. I think we're gonna try hush. Uh, who's going in? Who's going in? You're gonna go in. You're gonna go in. It's gonna be a stinky button. The button has provided us, even though it made a good sound, it was not a good button. You're gonna go through. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna try hush delirium. Does that mean you stay on the alt path, though, to get double item rooms? I think you still do. We're, we're so strong, it's not... Brimstone bomb. We're so strong, it's not as scary to... to it's not, I wouldn't even call it a risk. Uh, okay, good stuff, good stuff. And we don't have to do boss rush. We're just trying to make it to the womb within... 30 minutes. It's a freaking planetarium! I've never seen one before! <gasps> oh, baby! I've never seen one of these before. Is it just an item room? What's that do? Pluto size. He's so tiny! Dude, the music in here is really good. Uh, okay. That's my first planetarium ever. I've never seen one before. Um, I don't know what's so special about that. I like that it made him tiny. That's gonna make our hitbox a little bit smaller and... The timing. Uh, I was gonna say make it a little less likely that we take damage. <laughs> Oops. Um... No, that's sick. Very into that for the first time. Okay, I'll we'll do that room as well. Okay. Anyway, uh, so I'm not much of an E3 boy typically. Like I'm not uh, I'm not waiting with bated breath for like each Xbox's announcement and PlayStation's announcement because I don't have most of them anyway. I do the closest thing, and it's not even E3 related. Although Nintendo is at E3, uh, I do get pretty excited for the N Nintendo Directs because I it's the one system I actually do play on, but even like PC releases, I don't get too overly excited. Like, I, I, again, I just never find myself waiting with bated breath trying to see what, what's coming out. I'm usually just like, oh, I hate these guys. I'm usually more just like, you know, I'm sure if something comes out that suits my fancy, either, you know, one of the YouTubers or Twitch streamers that I watch will play it, or one of my friends will start playing it and recommend it to me. That's typically how I get my gameplay recommendations. I do love sac Sacrificial Bible, dude. And by sac Sacrificial, I mean Satanic. Spider Bite plus Satanic Bible. Very nice combo. Now, it's a little bit of a shame. I really would rather Satanic Bible go on to our Esau because he's the one who's struggling a little bit more from an HP perspective. Jacob's going to be essentially at max HP for most of this, so don't really have to worry too much there. I was really, really hoping we could... That might be a waste. I was going to say we could buy the coupon. We're at 10 minutes and only on Ash Pit 1. Got to speed it up maybe a little bit. Um, I was going to say we could buy the coupon and then just use that pedestal to swap who has Satanic Bible and who has... The plopper. Oh my god, I hate Great Gideon. Seems like maybe a little bit of a waste of time though. I can't even see where my Esau is. I'm assuming he is like right on top of me. Somewhere. He just he's just hiding. <laughs> but yeah, I've from from what I've gathered, I don't watch uh, them that often. I don't I'm again I'm not always super duper excited. We're getting a little off here. Um by E3s or any of the announcements at E3s, 
Um, unless they quote unquote break the internet, in which case I usually just let Twitter tell me should I be excited about it. Um, like for example, I know people are pretty pretty dang excited about Elden Ring. I'll be honest with you, I have no freaking idea what Elden Ring is. I've never played Elden Ring. I know it's from software, so I'm sure it's Dark Soulsy. This is the most annoying boss fight in the entire game. I maybe not the most difficult. It's the most annoying and probably the most likely to take damage against. Okay, Delirium is that, but the Void. Um, not that interested. Gimpy a little bit more interested. Not quite though. I think we gotta hold on to this HP. Okay, down to Ash Pit 2, and then I think I'm off the alt floor. Then I think we'll go back to the main floor after that, just to try to make up some time. Oh, and also, I think we literally can't do the womb if we... Maybe you can do the womb if you do the main one. Yeah, because we don't have the knife or anything. Okay. Um, yeah, usually I just let Twitter tell me what I need to be excited about. They seem pretty excited about Elden Ring. I'm, I'm not anti-Dark Souls. We've played Dark Souls on the channel before. Um, we did Dark Souls 1... Uh, on Twitch, and that's the only one I've played. I bought Dark Souls 3 with the idea of playing it. I heard Dark Souls 2 is not as good, so I've... I'm not saying I'll never play it. If it goes on sale for like three cents, maybe I will, but I'm definitely like less invested in playing that because I've just heard it's not as good. Um, in fact, I've heard it's from some that it's not just like it's not good, like it's equivalent to like... Uh, you know, what's your favorite, what's your least favorite Pokemon generation? Mm, well, it's three, but I still love those games. No, I've heard it's like, in, in fact, just bad. <laughs> um, which doesn't sound exciting to me, because again, I didn't dislike Dark Souls. But I also would say that I... I mean, my reflection is kind of just bad. My reflection is kind of just bad, but we'll take it, because... It's not that big a deal. I put it on our less strong unit anyway, so... Um, I think it's just like a big range upgrade, technically, so... I'm fine with it. Um, this is a scary room. I'm assuming if you touch the fires on those things, you get hurt, so... I was really hoping you would blow up that tinted rock for me. You didn't. It's understandable. I'll do it myself. Thanos? Thanos not JPEG. All right, good stuff. Curse room. Curse room. I'm just. I, I'll be honest. Just feeling a little. Just feeling a little nervioso about HP at this current point in time. So not on our main unit, but on Esau, he's he's getting a little low. So just would rather be safe than sorry here. I think. So we'll just continue along. Um, but yeah, I've never played Elden Ring. Assuming it's a... Again, I'm, I'm pretty out of the loop, so it may be a new title. I have no freaking idea. Um, it's not always my bread and butter, the From Software stuff, so... I never played Sekiro. Really, the only one I've played is Dark Souls 1. <laughs> so, not an expert, but people seem excited about it, but... In general, I would say, and I don't want to... You know, as someone... Secondhand information here, I'm not the one... I... I haven't been watching, so I, I feel uniquely unqualified to, to say anything about it, but people seem pretty not that excited about E3 this year. We got another deal with the devil. I do not want to buy Plan C. Let's check it out. Uh, that was very strange. We came in from the top, and now I'm coming in from the side. That is just very rude of you. That's okay. Lump of coal. Give it to our boy Esau. Esau, you're also getting this spear heart. Congratulations. All right, let's skadoodle. Uh, back onto the main path. Back onto the main path we go. All right, let's check how much time we're at. This should take us on to Necropolis 2. Oh, we're actually much further ahead of schedule than I originally thought we might be. I found pills and ate them. Okay. It's a relax pill. No biggie. Um, sure, we'll hold on to the school bag. It's going to let uh, Esau hold two spacebar items. What I'm essentially hoping... Tried my best there to not do that. What I'm essentially hoping is that we can pick up a second... Uh, ghost bombs? What I'm hoping is that we can essentially pick up a second... 
spacebar item that Esau can actually make use of, and he can still hold the plop um, to just let Vibrant Bulb work, basically. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I'm hoping for at this point in time. Will it work like that? Don't know. I have no idea if it'll work like that. It's fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, people in general seem to kind of just be of the opinion that E3 this year has been kind of a little snoozy so far, and that there hasn't been any fantastic um, developments. I, I remember the general consensus was we felt a little bit like that last year, too. And by we, I mean, again, didn't watch, but you know, in theory, if I watched, maybe I would have felt like it as well. I think the general consensus was people were like, yeah, not, uh, not very many new games this year, which was understandable last year because it was COVID year, so it was like, oh, everyone's you had to, you know, adjust to working from home, and I'm sure that halted a lot of the the progress on a lot of these games and blah 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 and now it's like well it's been a whole, a whole nother year since then so <laughs> what's the dealio now not saying skyrim should be out yet um and by skyrim i mean whatever the next skyrim game is but bethesda you've been uh, you've been cranking on that bad boy for a while that's a game i would actually get excited about um i, I tend to like things from bethesda how to jump dude it's perfect uh well we don't even like really want to switch now do we because they're both at more equal HP. We'll at least pick it up. In fact, we should have both. No! Frick. <laughs> Frick. Um, that's not good. That's not what you want. Okay, well, I forgot that I gave him the backpack, so I was going to use that as a pedestal opportunity to... Um, <sighs> I was going to use that as a pedestal to switch around who had Satanic Bible, and really, I just wanted them both to touch the books so that they both had an equal chance of getting Bookworm if we just found one more book. Um, instead, I, I did a oopsie whoopsie. I did a... I won't say the rest of that sentence. It's a TikTok thing. But you, uh, Reese, if you're out there watching, you know what I'm talking about. It's going to take one guy to get out of this room. Um, yeah, that's quite unfortunate. I'm not really happy with how that just developed. Um, <laughs> it's okay. We just need to find another space bar item. And then everything will be good. We just need to find another space bar item and then everything will be kosher yet again. Um... Perhaps we have 65 cents. We could maybe find one in the shop here. We could maybe find one in the shop here. Nope. Instead, you will find only pain. That's all right. That's okay. We're still pretty strong otherwise, so I'm not, like, totally missing out on the vibrant bulb effect, but it's a little bit of a shame. Um, yeah, I think Nintendo hasn't gone yet, quote-unquote. In E3, there's, like, different days. Like, today was Xbox and Bethesda, I think, because... Uh, Xbox, Microsoft now owns Bethesda, so they did, like, a tag team thing today, and again, people were, from what I heard, people were just like, oh, okay, you know, it's, didn't reinvent the wheel or anything, nothing seems to broke, have broken the internet, I know Square Enix, um, I just go based off what's trending, Square Enix, I saw, released a Guardians of the Galaxy game, which could be interesting, uh, we could take both of these, if we just... Think about it. Skirt. Good stuff. Uh, we'll take a peek in here. Prob. I should have taken the fool card that was on the ground. The problem here is Death's Touch is so good. And Fear Shot is a tears up. So, like, if we could take both of those, that would be awesome. But it's probably going to take like five plus minutes to do boss rush. Oh, frick, dude. What do you do? 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 Do these items speed you up, up enough? Can you beat boss rush fast enough that you can still make the hush fight? I think we can. This may be a famous last words kind of situation. There is a real chance this is a famous last words kind of situation. 
but we're gonna do our bestest to make sure that it's not it is also champion boss rush i'm noticing which means it's gonna slow things down even further esau is gonna be in a great place hp wise once well as long as i don't like continue taking dumb damage but like in theory he could be in a great spot hp wise once all is said and done because every three waves we're gonna be getting a delicious nutritious charge frick dude Jacob, on the other hand, may be in a precarious HP position, so we gotta be careful. Hopefully we just get a space bar out of this uh, as our last item. How much time I got? 20 minutes. Okay, this is a problem. I'm not as strong as I thought I was. <laughs> I'm not exactly melting people off the face of the earth, which is pretty bad. I was, I was hoping to melt. I was hoping to melt. I'd like to be out of this fight. I would like to be out of this fight in... I would like to be out of the fight by 23 minutes, which I'm now realizing seems unlikely. I think I may have miscalculated. Um, yeah, we may be in trouble here, ladies and gents. Um, it's upsetting because this was a really good run. Is there anything else we can still do? Can we, can we salvage anything else? Is there any chance, like... I was gonna say is there any chance we could just get a freaking spirit heart <laughs> from these things like you usually want the answer is yes we ended up getting one anyway okay this guy's got to stop being annoying okay we are yeah we're not as strong as i originally may have calculated it's gonna slow us down considerably but we'll still be fine we'll still be fine perhaps um Again, Esau is going to be in a great spot. Jacob? Jacob in less of a great spot. But I think we'll be fine. What hit me? Oh, I thought that was a, one of my own my reflection shots. I would, I would be incorrect about that. Good dodge, good dodge. Okay, so 23 minutes seeming pretty unlikely. We are going to have to skadoodle our boodles on the womb. Um, and we don't even have any mapping, so it you know makes it a little harder to... To guarantee that we are going to be able to skadoodle. We really want to try to skadoodle though. Sk skadoodling. Many would say is in our best interest. And they would be right. Many have said that skadoodling is in your best interest. They would be 1000% correct. Something's underground. It's a pin and he came from a weird spot. Okay. Keep, keep flying dude. Keep flying. Good stuff. Faster. Faster, faster, faster. You love to see it. Wish we were a little bit stronger. There is definitely a contingency within me that wishes we were just like a teensy bit stronger, but it's okay. Got all sorts of we got all sorts of out of whack there. We're good. Okay, pick that up. Good stuff. Keep it going. Oh my goodness, where are these spirit hearts coming from? I don't know, but I love it. I, we're definitely going to be in a better position, uh, survivability-wise, than if we didn't do this. Like, we are going to be both stronger and have more HP because of doing this than we would have if not. But it's going to be like 25 minutes, which means I have to do about 250 per floor for two floors. Which is obviously a lot easier said than done. So, that could be an issue. Fear Shot's causing us a lot of problems here. It's making dudes run away. Okay. Okay. Probably like three-fourths of the way done. Didn't we just fight this guy? Probably like three-fourths of the way done. Yes, I'm being silly and taking some very bad damage. Um, by just essentially running into enemies. In an attempt to do more damage. Uh, or an attempt to kill them faster. It's not smart. Would not advise it. But it's the world I'm living in. Alright, great stuff. Great stuff. Take it and go. Take it and go. Okay. A little under 25 minutes. I've actually got a little bit more time than I originally thought. Okay. Gotta go fast, though. We should be wiping most of the enemies on any particular floor. So I'm not concerned about our ability to go fast. That could be interesting, but no. I'm not too concerned about our ability to go fast, just based on how much damage we're doing to these. Now, the next question is, will we even be strong enough to beat the Hush? I'd rather not think about that, so if you could stop, please. 
<sighs> anyway, back to E3. Nintendo's coming up uh, soon, I think, and people are kind of hoping they'll quote unquote save E3 because really, really just like guess the complete wrong way. That's just odd because I'm not known for that. I don't know if you've been around on the channel before. Um, I'm not typically known for choosing the wrong path. Rarely, rarely happens to me. Like it's, it's, it's so rare that I end up exploring the entirety of the floor, you know, especially when I'm like trying to rush, like when I have something time sensitive on the horizon, that's when it happens the least actually. I'm usually so unbelievably good at guessing. I'm usually so unbelievably tremendous at guessing. So that's uh that was a weird one for me. Was not expecting that. Okay, continue. That could be a joke card. Weird. Weird weird that I have once again chosen an incorrect path. It's just eaten clock, dude. It is a two of diamonds. It does literally nothing for us, but we'll hold on to it. Uh do the big room. It's gotta be all, uh, it's gotta be across from the big room. They wouldn't make me do this annoying room if it wasn't the way. Gone to Knuckles, gotta be. Gotta be. A thousand percent sure now that it has to be. Maggie's Faith could be interesting. Uh, in fact, I will take it. And you will take this. No, please, though. Just like... And you... I'm gonna end my own life pretty soon here. Just, just in case you were wondering. If that little fiasco right there ends up caught... That little fiasco right there ends up costing us. Weird. Wrong way. If that little fiasco ends up costing us, I'm going to become the Joker. Um, okay, good stuff. We have the boss fight. Still going to have to do the next floor in essentially the amount of time we did this floor. So it should be possible. It should, in theory, be a po not only possible, but likely. If I may be so daring. Okay, we did get a deal with the devil. It's... Red chest, red chest, red chest, get me out of here. Yeah, we could have had an extra spirit art, who cares? I need a space bar item to switch over who's got um, control of the, the thing. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to get one easily, which is upsetting. Um, I should probably check out that what is likely our secret room. I'm just gonna do a bomb here just to save time. Okay, I should probably check out what is likely our secret room right here. Right here, just in case. It's not our secret room, okay. Um, we do want the key for the hush fight. We do want the key for the hush fight. Okay, I really hope I'm going the right way here. It seems like I am. Like, you, you would think this is the right way, but... Stranger things have certainly happened. We're... Running into some issues. Part of the issues is the game continues to feed me uh, some of the slowest enemies of all time. Oh my god, please. I'm gonna... I'm going to. I'm gonna uninstall the game pretty soon. <laughs> the game... The game exists only to hurt me. At some point, you have to decide how much is enough. And I think I'm nearing that point. Two minutes, two minutes, come on. If this is the wrong way... Oh my god, thank god. Okay, so we are going to get to do the hush fight, which is very exciting. Um, we are going to get to do the hush fight, which is very, very exciting. Um, assuming this doesn't take 10,000 years, which it shouldn't. It shouldn't take 10,000 years. It should take a lot less than 10,000 years. Um... The question is, are we even strong enough to beat the Hush? It's really going to come down to dodging. We are probably strong enough. It's also going to come down to, hey, can Jacob stop taking all of the hits, please? I know he's the bigger target right now, but, like, could we stop? Like, what if he didn't take every single hit? That'd be cool. Okay. Man, the backpack really is going to end this run, huh? The, the backpack is going to be the single reason I lose this run. That's pretty upsetting. Um, let's see. I don't know what either of these two things do, but that bottom one looks like a space bar item, and that's exciting to me. It is. Everything jar, anything is possible. Okay, I don't know what that means, um, but this is perfect. You drop that. Jacob, you pick it up. 
great stuff. We'll hold the everything jar because it seems like it's probably better. We'll go ahead and give Jacob a little bit of extra HP here as well from that eternal heart. Thank you. Um, I mean, we definitely just want them both. So skirt, grab them both. Tinted rocks, tinted rocks. Oh, we don't need to rush anymore. Why am I, why am I going 10,000 miles a minute? You can calm down now. You've succeeded. Congratulations. Now, it would have been lovely to get into the shop as well. Oh, hello. How's it going? Angel sleeping like a baby. Uh, it would have been lovely to, to take advantage of that as well, but we will not be doing that today. Here's a question. You got enough bombs. Should I do this? Uh, very often you can find crawl spaces. Very often you can find crawl spaces in one of these two rooms. Is it worth the bombs to try and find it? I mean, it is if we find it. We did not find one. That's okay. All right, this is going to be a little dicey. Um, I really wish we could get in there. Um... I think probably switch for this and let's go all right it's not gonna be the easiest fight of all time um he's in general just pretty pretty tough <laughs> he's in general just a pretty tough fight but if we can dodge well and if we can somehow make it so that esau takes a majority of the hits i mean we do literally have double the amount of hp well like 1.5 times the amount of HP of a typical character up to this point. Gotta make sure I, like, don't just hit myself with bombs like I nearly did there. That's, uh... Probably one of the easiest ways to ensure that this all goes south. <laughs> is to just bomb myself. I am using bombs here just in an attempt to speed things up. My reflection causing some issues here for sure. My reflection causing some issues, but this is a good start. We're, we're nearing the halfway point and haven't taken damage. Now, the beginning phase of this, in general, I would say is rather easy. So, no shot. This is where things... No, not here even. Once he starts doing the transcendent tiers, that's when things start getting just like a little ridiculously annoying. So... If we can minimize the damage we're taking now, here's where it gets annoying. Although, we got him slowed somehow. I, did we? Oh, we have Spider Bite! Spider Bite actually the most clutch item in the game? Um, yeah, if we can continue to keep him slowed, that's amazing. Um, and I guess we're going to do Delirium after this. We could do... That was bad damage, just really bad damage. I can't see anything that's happening right now. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. Alright, and now Banjo's very upset. Banjo, you weren't upset for the longest time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I apologize. Banjo's just going to be very upset now. Because Maria poked her head into the room and now she has he has acknowledged that other human beings other than myself exist. So therefore, he's got to get out. Banjo, I'm in the middle. I'm fighting for my life in here, dude. I unfortunately can't let you out right now. But I promise, if you wait just a little bit longer, I can let you out. I'm going to die. Banjo. Banjo, it's not the time. Banjo, it's not the time! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that was almost the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. Hey, Banjo, how about you just go ahead and get out, brother? <laughs> that was almost the world's worst choke job of all time. I'm shaking a little bit. But it's okay, we got the hush done. Very thankfully got the hush done. Okay, now the question is... I think we definitely go back and pick up Maggie's Faith. I think we also take our key now and we say, Hello! Little, little nervous about walking into the fires is the thing. Okay. I think you come in here and you say, yes, please. And then you say, yes, please. And then you say, yes, please. Okay. Great stuff. 
I don't know what this jar of everything does, but it's got a huge charge, which makes me think it has to be good. Now, the question is, we have an Alge's rune, but the Alge's rune only works for one person. I think you got, we got to try to make delirium happen here. It's like, it's like now or never, essentially. Th this run seems too busted. We could beat, um, like we're not going to get access to Mega Satan. So I don't think there's as much of a reason to go down there. I'd rather knock off those two birds at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So I think it probably makes more sense to just try to make this happen. Where's the color on those guys? Excuse me. They usually have a lot of color. Um, I think it makes more sense to try to knock these two things off if we can. It's going to be tough. <laughs> it's, don't get me wrong. It's going to be difficult. But if we can make it happen, that would be sick. Uh, we do have an Alge's Rune, which we should probably switch over. Um, we should probably switch over to Jacob unless he can get... I mean, that helps. Unless he can get a lot of HP over the course of this floor. Um, then he's already in a very scary spot. Oh, the jar of everything. I can't tell. So, what's either going to happen, and I'm not certain which is going to happen. Either every charge, we're seeing an item in there. Um, and when it pops, we get all of the items that were in there. That's option A of what could potentially happen. Option B is um whatever item is showing is what we get so like a uh, almost like a getting an item in mario kart situation you know so either we're gonna get all of them i feel like it has to be all of them considering how expensive it is it's like a 12 room charge um help i feel like it has to give us all of the things maybe i'm just being a greedy millennial but to me if it's a 12-room charge, I would expect a little bit more out of the item. Yes, hello to the most annoying enemy in the game. Could you just... Could you Could you please? Could... Look, it's established you're going to die. So maybe just do it. Okay, let's see. What happens when I use this? Um, It just, it just did the effect of the tower. Okay, so... Don't do that ever again, please. Uh, does the item just suck? <laughs> Is that what I'm coming to understand? Is it just a bad item? It's a 12-room it's charge, and it gave us the effect of the tower card? Granted, it can have multiple different effects, I'm assuming, depending on what is showing. But that was a pretty bad showing to start things off. Okay. Part of our luck here, by the way, is going to be... I'm going to max clear the floor because we're strong enough that we're, we're probably gaining HP faster than we're losing it. Um, okay, we're definitely gaining HP faster than we're losing it. So that's nice. Secret room? Yes, baby. Uh, we are definitely gaining HP faster than we're losing it. And I don't want to accidentally go into the wrong boss fight. It, it, basically, if we hit Delirium right off the bat, it just kind of sucks. <laughs> It just kind of sucks a whole bunch. Um, I still think... I'm still thinking we should probably give... We'll give this to Esau. I'm still thinking we should probably give the... Alge's rune over to... Over to Jacob. Because if the hush fight was any indication... I don't know if it was just some extremely unlucky dodging. I don't know if it was just some extremely unlucky dodging, but Jacob somehow seemed to soak up a maximum amount of the hits during that fight. It could just be because um, Esau got that item from the planetarium that makes you very small. And so his hitbox might just be microscopic. But if that's the case, if he's not going to be taking much damage throughout most of the fight. I think we should probably give the Allages rune to Jacob then. Because Jacob's going to be taking a brunt of the damage throughout the fight. In theory. You know? 
Am I making sense here? I hope I am. Um, but this is good. We're going to be going into this fight with essentially max HP on both characters. Um, we won't be getting, unfortunately, much use out of... We won't be getting much use out of Polaroid Invincibility. I don't know what that is, but that's terrifying. That looks like a reroll. I'm not even going to risk it. I, I don't know what's in that jar, but it looks like a reroll or like something that could mix up all my stats. I... Oh, I have to use it. Okay, I refuse. Uh, we just won't use that item anymore because I can't risk it. <laughs> the run's too good. I, uh, I simply cannot risk it is the thing. So instead... We will just continue here on planet Earth. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess you can pick this up. Maggie's faith doesn't do much for me anymore now that we are at uh, max spirit hoardage. Uh, sorry, we, only, we already have our eternal heart out of it, so we don't get much benefit from using it, which is fine. I don't think we'll get much from the cards either. All right, we're basically at full HP. The world card. Um... Sure, I guess pop it. Oh, please don't. Thank God. I was like, if you use the Alge's rune here, I will end your life. <laughs> I was going to be very upset if I used the Alge's rune there. We got a lot more rooms we can clear. The question is, do we even want to at this point, or do we just go for it? Like, like what are we what are we looking for? In addition to what we already have. The answer is basically a second Alge's rune, which let's go ahead and do the swap rune right now just so I don't forget. Okay. Pick your trinkets back up. Pick your trinkets back up. Yeah, the answer is basically second Alge's rune. Ooh, this is terrifying. Okay. Okay, I mean, it's it's good. It's, it's fine. Um, yeah, second Alge's rune basically wins the run, I, I would think. Now, is it worth exploring the rest of the floor where we could potentially take damage and overall hurt our chances of winning the run? Or do you just go start fighting the boss fights right now when you're at maximum strength? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a good answer for you there. There's a there's a viable... Uh, I, I, oh, thank God I just used the plop. I thought I used... Where's my Alge's Rune? Where's the Alge's Rune? Oh, my God. Don't do that ever again. Don't... <laughs> Please don't scare me like that ever again. Whew. All right. I thought I committed the ultimate sin. I didn't. We just left it behind. That's fine. We, we remembered it. It's like, uh... Everyone in my Twitch chat likes to roast me for the time when I was a camp counselor and I lost one of the kids while I was at a field trip at the zoo. But we found the kid later, so, like, here's the thing. Like, it, does it really even matter that much that I lost the kid if I ended up finding the kid? No. Like, if he would have ended up being eaten by tigers... Then yeah, that was probably concerning. I can't risk this temperance card. It just makes you take a bunch of pills. Um, yeah, in that case, it would have been concerning. But like, he was fine is the thing. So like, maybe don't worry about it is, you know, <laughs> what I would recommend. That's what I would personally recommend. There are too many champions in this room. There are too many champions in this room. And you caused J Esau to take damage. Esau's not allowed to take damage. He doesn't have a reliable way to heal. Fool card. Fool card, huh? Fool card, huh? Am I ready to fight some bosses? Stars card. I'm a little bit nervous about having a teleportation card because I feel like I'm accidentally going to use it during the fight. <laughs> Which would be a freaking nightmare. Um, infinite bombs could be good in the fight. Um, all right, I think you just go for it. I think you just go for it. I think you just go for it. You start fighting bosses. You hope it's not delirium right off the bat. You 
We hope it's not Delirium right off the bat. Dude, having Spider Bite may literally save this run. Just slowing Delirium down even marginally is so good. Because he's, he's so unpredictable and fast. That was scary. I don't like that those beams can go in the corners now. You've ruined my... You've ruined my ability to guarantee not taking damage. <laughs> Whoa! Was not expecting that last shot. Good on you. Good on you. You hit Jacob. That's not very kind, but that's all right. Okay, we got him. He's Blue Baby's only friend. Probably doesn't matter uh, who picks that one up. All right. Man, I would love... To, I was not expecting to get Delirium knocked off today. This would be... This would be quite the... Um, the development. This this would be quite the development to just get Delirium taken care of and never worried about again. Don't you dare. Don't you dare take away my Alger's room. Okay, it is the lamb. The downside about doing more boss fights is it's more tough enemies that Delirium could potentially turn into. Frick, dude. It's more tough enemies that Delirium could potentially turn into in the fight. You counterclockwise turn and fool. Frick, dude. Okay, this is really bad. That's really bad. Pentagram's really good. <laughs> the rest of that was really bad, though. Um, hemorrhaging HP a little bit. Okay, starting to change my tune. Uh, I actually would like to find Delirium now, like ASAP. I am a little nervous if we're struggling against some of these other bosses that Delirium's just going to dunk upon me. I'll keep Temperance just so I don't accidentally teleport. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous Delirium's just going to dunk on me, but that's okay. It's not okay, but uh, I'll pretend that it's okay. Okay. Delirium, Delirium. Let's, let's just do the Delirium fight. Great stuff. Okay, that's what I wanted. Okay, I'm going to send Plop out, and then we're just going to stay on the jar this whole time. We're just going to stay on the jar this whole time. This fight's tough. This is, a, this is a tough fight, no doubt. Not a huge fan of the teleporting everywhere. Like, he just, like, uh, is and then he isn't. Okay, do not forget. Be a little radio silent here for a little bit, just a heads up <laughs> as I focus. Okay. Frick, dude. I hate the lamb. Oh, dude, we're melting him. What happened? I was so laser focused on dodging that I didn't even realize how little HP my dude had left. What happened? What did I do to him? I feel like I'm not doing that much damage, so I'll be honest, I have no idea what I did to get him into this current state. Maybe it's the brimstone bombs? I have no idea. Something caused my man to have to take out a second mortgage on his home, though, and I'm here for it. Uh, all right. Actually significantly easier than I expected it to be. Didn't even have to pop the good old Alge's room. That's very exciting. All right. Dude, that's awesome. Like one of the hardest bosses with one of the hardest characters. Taken care of. Suplex has appeared in the basement. Whatever that means. I don't know what that means. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider showing some support down below. Liking, commenting, subscribing. I'll help out a tremendous deal. Share with your grandmother as always, but with that, thank you guys for watching. Thought I heard something, and I'll see you guys next time.